Hello team and welcome to another ATP Geopolitics video with myself, Jonathan MSP. This is a really quick, very quick, literally a couple of minutes of wondering where General Valery Gerasimov is. So he is, you know, General Self of Russia's armed forces. There were rumours that he was killed in a strike on occupied Crimea. So uh, Glasnost Gon here says, where is Chief of General Staff of Russia's Armed Forces, General Gerasimov? He's not been seen since January the 4th, when Ukraine struck a command post in occupied Crimea. Now other senior Russian commanders are carrying out duties he would usually perform. Right. So at the time, I dismissed this as a very low probability um chance of this of this happening of this having been uh the case that he was killed uh because those rumors often hit the socials after big sort of strikes like that and on both sides we've had budinov we've had zeluzhny and all sorts so i dismissed it and saying it's, it could have happened but it's very low probability now we are 19 days later and he has not been seen since. Deputy Minister of Defence of Russia, Colonel Victor, General Viktor Goremykin, awards servicemen of Centre Group of Forces in Zone of Special Military Operation. Okay, where's Gerasimov doing those kind of things? Indeed, Tim White says, I know he looked dead when he was alive, but maybe he has taken tea with Putin now or went for a walk through an open window on the 21st floor. Some people saying, well, actually, it's n it, it would be bad if Gerasimov went because... He's such a he's such a poor, uh, poorly qualified person, or he's he's not good enough for the job, or any any such criticism. Actually, you need someone that's not very good in that position, and that gives Ukraine better chances. Some actually, some people actually think he is fairly decent. It's Shoigu that, that's the one that's properly um, underqualified. But yes, you you look at sort of hashtag where is Grasimov, and it's full of memes going Grasimov never heard of him you know all of this kind of stuff uh have you seen me call 1-800-NAFO etc etc he has just not been seen for for that amount of time now that it is it has become much more of a of a reasonable thesis that the man died in that strike otherwise surely you would have seen him so I you know, I'm not saying it's definitely happened, uh, but it is with each passing day becoming more and more plausible in the way that I suggested when I think it was Zeluzhny Zul wasn't seen for ages and then he was seen. And it's like, oh, thank goodness for that. And uh, Budinov as well. So, uh, you know, you get a little bit, mm, a little bit testy around that thinking, ah, oh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think he has been killed, either of those, but actually with each passing day, it's looking worse. Uh, and then, oh, suddenly turned out, okay, fair enough. Same with Grasimov. With each passing day, except I'm not getting, um, you know, anxious about it because, hey, he's in charge of the Russians. But with each passing day, I'm thinking a little bit more, uh, yeah, it, it, it's favouring. Each day adds to the probability that he has been, ha has been killed. What do you guys think? Uh, what are your thoughts on this? And what do you think would be the ra ramifications if indeed it did turn out, it did get out into the information spaces that he had been killed? Let me know, uh, and uh, I'll get get on with uh, prepping up my my actual extra for today.